Hey guys, today we are going to talk about three cards that are my favorite speculation. And these cards I like for different reasons and in different formats. In standard, I think this card is going to be an absolute beast and he is $4 and falling. For a mythic to hit $4, that's not very common at this stage. Hour of Devastation has taken a huge plummet hit and it didn't really get the pre-release hype that most sets get. In fact, you have a Planeswalker under $5 before the set is even released. Almost never happening. Uh, even Tilbolt, I feel like, was $7, $8 or $10 when he was pre-hyped. So, Crescent Sun Mayor. I think it's very strong. It's a 5-5, five, five, and at the beginning of each end step, if you gain life this turn, which is easier to do in standard, and then in this particular standard block than other ones, then you get a 5-5 five, five horse token that is also indestructible. Now, it's not legendary, so you can stack multiples of him, and they would grant each other indestructibility. Indestructibility is a very expensive ability. Previously, we had looked at an artifact that was indestructible and gave a creature indestructibility, and that what that artifact is very pricey, maybe like eight dollars for what it is. This one is that, but on a creature that can make other creatures, which are also indestructible. I see this as being the go-to card and something in standard that will be extremely powerful. I just cannot imagine this card being weak. Uh, in terms of power level, it's up there. When I look at what else is in Hour of Devastation, and especially after Kaladesh rotates out, this will be a very strong card in that meta. Now, will its time come soon? I don't know. I don't believe so. This is more of a longer term play, but in some some of its standard life, it should be more than $4. i expecting it to be 7 or 8 maybe even 10 Now, this is an interesting card, right? From $4 down to $0.89 cents and still dropping. Like One of the compelling points of Hour of Devastation, something I've never seen before, the prices were already low, but then they kept plummeting and were not even at release. At this moment in time, these prices should be as high as they ever are going to be because no one has them. Or a very limited supply of people have them. And if you still use PicoTrade, you would be, and you're a YouTuber, they would pay you money to say, hey, trade your stuff, right? Because you can get the most value of these cards today rather than tomorrow. But they've already started to slide and it's not something that I would say is going to stop. $0.89 cents and two ninety nine for a foil. I think this is going to be an amazing card in EDH. I cannot see this being the echo effect with your lands. That's not too bad in EDH because I'm assuming you have lots of lands, right? And you have other mana acceleration like so ring and artifacts and all types of stuff like that, plus the fact you're saving your, your life. You can get a ton, a ton of life from this card in EDH. You, if you're at five life and you play this, you gain 35 life, you're back to 40. Man, it's gonna be terrible. It, it's gonna be horrible for burn decks, right? In modern, could I see it? Could it see some play in cyborgs and modern? I guess if burn ever became really, really good again. But burn is not that great because burn into death shadow is like the worst case scenario, right? You're feeding into what they want to do. I love this card. I think it's going to drop a little bit more. But overall, it is one of the cards that I... EDH, casual, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. But sometime this card will be very, very pricey like over five possibly over ten dollars i that's how much i like it i mean it's going to be a 50 cents or a bulk card but that's what it is today 
Now, next card we are going to talk about is Glorybringer. And unlike the previous cards where I think it takes a little time for them to get their legs, this one does not need legs. It has flying, it is big and bad. If it were to make a move, now would be the time to, for it to make a move because aggro, aggro is strongest when a new set is released and people are still trying to define the meta. This is 8 damage on turn 5. It's 4 damage in the air to your opponent possibly. And then it's 4 more damage to a creature. Maybe one in the air with flying so you can attack directly your opponent. It's what red wants. Um, this is the definition of a red card. Lightning, uh, not, not lightning bolt. What was it? Lightning strike which is like free in a red and it's four damage to a target creature or player on a stick that will have other advantage. So if you didn't kill your opponent, then you still have a dragon and it just has to reload, right? Reminds me of like Hyper Beam in Pokemon. So when your Pokemon uses Hyper Beam, you want to finish them. But... If somehow you didn't finish them and they play the combat trick, you're still okay. You just gotta survive until you can hyper beam again. And again, if you're gonna hit them, you're gonna hit them again for more eight more damage and pretty much destroy a creature. It has to be a non-dragon creature, right? So you cannot hit another glory bringer. But I think it's going to be very powerful in defining the meta when the meta is still underdeveloped. So I don't think it's life is going to last very long. I do feel like that it will make a huge impact and the red deck, should there be a aggression red or aggro red, this will be the card that they want to finish with. The other two cards, I can see them being very good in EDHs. I can see them having long-term value and being very good holds. I can see them being something that you want to accumulate hundreds of copies of if the price is correct. This card is more of a, hmm, is it going to do anything that we believe it will do or is it going to fail? And this is a card that you will know very quickly whether or not its price is going to go up and Either it will within the next few weeks or it won't. The other two are very good long-term holds in my opinion. And they should see play in EDHs for the lifetime of their existence. Anyway, that is it. Leave me a comment below with your favorite speculation. And if you agree or disagree with these three cards I picked. Anyway, that is it. Bye guys.